Systems design begins with a three-dimensional overview of both the internal and external context of the building. This is the holistic approach to engineering that looks at the total building as a coordinated whole from the very beginning of a project. A three-dimensional model leads a, to a three-dimensional understanding of the building. And this makes preliminary design on the systems easier to visualize and coordinate among the project team. For example, toilet room layouts put plumbing in an area that it has at least impact on mechanical air handlers. Or the location of fire and plumbing system risers and drains in relation to the main service connections for the building can be identified early in the design process. This makes it possible to coordinate interior space planning with systems engineering before inefficient layouts are finalized and gives the entire team an un understanding of the challenges they will face in creating a sustainable building. The result is a carefully choreographed engineering and construction process that requires careful coordination to make sure everything fits as efficiently as possible. Interestingly, both the design and sequence of installation of the resulting mass of building systems is not exactly linear. Instead, it follows a leapfrog layering approach where one system is roughly placed over another and then tied into the system that follows. For example, the roofing seals the space, but penetrations in the roof and the roofing must be coordinated and carefully planned. Drainage in and around the building and the site connects to building plumbing and mechanical systems, but they must be in place and coordinated before excavation can be completed. The same is true for the plumbing. Rough in supply and waste lines need to be installed before foundations and, and designed to fit into the building's structural frame. Fire systems are also on, also installed and often before the plumbing. Both the plumbing and fire systems are designed by plumbing engineers and installed by licensed plumbers. Heating and cooling systems are then installed early in the interior pro construction process this is so that they can be coordinated with the systems already in place connected to the electrical services that will follow. Actual connection of the electrical, electrical lines, the feeders and circuits come after the conduit and wire ducts are in place. In many cases this is after the walls and ceilings are completely finished. That means that the input and output control system, in other words the intelligent portion of the building, can only be hooked up and tested after almost all of the building systems have been put in place. In other words, every trade and subcontractor must coordinate their particular installation with one or all of the trades involved in the construction process. In addition, in many cases, each must finish before the other can begin. The challenge to sustainable construction is that the job site superintendent must coordinate the subcontractors and this process, support their needs and their work schedules, and understand that each company will probably install their particular subcontract with their own methods. Remarkably, none of this is done on shown on any architectural or engineering drawings. It's all figured out in the field.